Welcome to Life Under the Laundry Pile, airing it all out one conversation at a time. This is episode eight. Um, today we're going to be talking pumpkin, Pinterest, and football. Oh my! Um, just a quick reminder about our social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Life Under the Laundry Pile. Our Twitter handle is at Life Underscore the Laundry. We have a website. Uh, you can find that on our Facebook page, and we also have a new Pinterest board that we are diligently working on filling up. So find us there as well. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Great. Awesome. <laughs> We're everywhere. <laughs> How's it going? It's going. I'm having a hard time um, adjusting. adjusting. I am. Totally. I am. I'm, I'm tired trying to, to get everything, like we were talking about earlier, trying to get everything that I want to do and need to do right. in a day is... I'm finding it hard. Right. Well, we're a little delayed in recording. I think it's just because we both, like, the kids went back to school and we hit a wall. Well, and, and I don't know about you, but I was, like, scrambling to do things that I hadn't been able to do right. over the summer. Like, literally, I realized I had not gone grocery, grocery shopping other than to pick up the Kroger click list. Right. And a couple of small trips the whole entire summer. And it, it was shocking when I realized that I had not done that. Right. Because I am an every week kind of girl. And when I went the other day, I was like, oh, my God. Did I you spend a ton of money? I really didn't. Um, I, but I did realize that it's going to take a while to catch back right, up. Right, My freezer is, like, depleted. Right. Oh, sorry. But, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> a little foot action there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, do, but you probably don't. Do you grocery shop like I do like that? It depends on the day. Well, that's that's what I've I've. I mean, like I I ebb. So sometimes, yeah. like there's no food in the house, and sometimes I'm planned out a month in advance. Yeah. So it just really depends. Maybe it'll get better with the fact that I'm now child free. Yeah. And I can go. I, I think if I even went last week. No, the one time I went to the grocery store last week, I went after I picked Henry up from school. Mm-hmm. So like I had that opportunity to go by myself, and I still didn't. Right. So. Right. Well, and it's, I'm like, if someone's not throwing a hissy fit in the produce mm-hmm. section because I won't buy the four dollar grapes, right? Then honestly, what is life? Yeah. <laughs> what's the What's what, the joy of going to the, the grocery point? store? If I'm not threatening to beat someone's butt and throw it in, <laughs> then there's no point. To yeah, life. right. I know. Oh my gosh. Well, yesterday, yeah, I took all three little kids yesterday, so I get you. I feel you. So, but yeah, other than that, not yeah. much. Just trying to get back in into the groove. Yeah. I get it. No, I get it. Last week was um, Henry went back to school. Yes, or uh, last week. Well, it was the first time he's been to school, so. And uh, Matt wasn't home either, so, like, I would come home every day, and there literally would not be any yeah. noise. Right. It was empty, and the house was just empty. So I did a lot of sleeping, a little day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> not by myself. I would go have lunch with people. But <laughs> but I didn't really accomplish much, like, what I thought I would be doing and what I actually did. But I think I was just really tired. Like I think it's the, the come build down up, from summer. The build up from getting to that moment yeah. and then you're finally over that you know that little hill and you're like okay I, I gotta take a rest so and I don't know about you but I've come to quickly realize that I mean there's so much that has to be done during the day right that every once in a while I need a day you know yeah. because the, on the weekend I don't get any time off that I still am on 24-7 right. so I find that I'm gonna have to start taking a little bit of time for myself there just needs to be week. that one day right because if not I'm just gonna lose my mind right you know, just the day to do, you know, what you want to do. Even if it's just sitting on the couch watching Netflix. I'm going to go to the movie. So yeah. I'm yeah. totally going to. I meant to do that last week. And then the day I was going to go, I opted to nap instead. <laughs> so, like, I was really tired. I was almost, like, borderline. Uh, even, was it narcoleptic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Is there even anything out I right was going to go see Jason Bourne. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do love Jason, I do love Bourne. Jason Bourne. There's I'm a hang- couple of really good ones coming out. I'm so. hanging on for Mrs. Peregrine. Um, yes. My friend and yes. I are going to go see that. But that's, I think that's one I'll see with the kids. So, okay. yeah. I'll save that for them. I think yeah. it might be a tad scary for my kids. Um, no, I've mine seen are a little bit more like they're, that's, yeah. the, that's their 
jam. You see Aubrey, so. my oldest, she right. loved Harry Potter. But my yeah. little kids kind of freak out about stuff like that. Yeah. And I sure don't need them having any kind of nightmares, you know, waking me up in the middle of the night. So. No, the, every time that commercial comes on, they just die laughing. Oh, so. do they really? Oh, my gosh, yes. When the little girl is eating out of the bag, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't think my kids, yeah. So I'm going to go with my friend, but... um yeah, I know. Movies during the day are the I best know. because yeah. no there's there. nobody there except other moms. Right. It's amazing. Maybe some old retired guy. Yep. I'll chill with that. That's fine. Yeah. Like yeah. the guy that was in the Bad Moms when I went yeah. the other day. <laughs> I was like, dude, don't you feel uncomfortable sitting in here watching Bad Moms when they're bad-mouthing men? <laughs> but whatever. So. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Yeah. So, what were we talking about? <laughs> yeah, what we've been up to. So. Yeah. About That's about it. Um, so what are we talking about this week? Pumpkin. Okay, well, we are, no, shh. We're talking about fall. <laughs> yeah. In September. Fall is not actually for a couple of weeks, but everyone wants that, you know, once we say goodbye to August, everyone seems to and switch you, over. And you know, it's really funny. I just realized yesterday, I, you know, I see a lot of people's pretty pictures and on uh, Facebook. People are already decorated for fall, and I, I feel weird because it's like 103 degrees outside, and I still sweat getting dressed in the morning. I mean, but even I'm like, I've got plans. Like I'm, I just, I was telling Moose this morning, I'm like, I need to get the tote down to right. put the wreath on the door, right. and all my little, you know, fall decorations out here within the next week I or agree. so. So I agree. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm there. I like decorating for fall. It's one of my favorites. Mine and the too. thing is, is it's it's difficult here in Texas to get in that mood though because it man, it is still hot as balls here. It so. is. It is, and that's and what it I will wonder. be for a while. Well, that's what I wonder. You know, what do people do? So I Although mean, what are you? Beautiful today. It's like eighty-five out, which shouldn't be beautiful, but at the same time, you're like, I could go for a walk. Like yeah. this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just wonder, like, what do our, like, what do you guys do? Do you decorate, do you decorate the second September one rolls around? Right. Do you wait till October first? Do you just wait till it gets cooler? Because that's not really an option here in Texas. Right. If we wait till it's cooler, then it'll be January. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't really know what I do. Typically, I think I started September one, but this right. year I just wasn't Haven't feeling got to it. it yet. No, yeah. uh-uh. maybe we need to so, make a trip to a Hobby Lobby or absolutely. Home. <gasps> oh my god, home. I love Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I do road trip for sure next so, week. So, yeah. Too bad we can't record from any of these places. We could like hide in one of the aisles in the we corner could. and we could record. We could, we could totally. That'd be creepy. Um, um, yeah, so, you know, decorating. And the thing is, like, where I come from, it does, it has started back in Ohio to cool off. Yeah. Oh, and okay. people are really getting in that mood. So it's a little harder to get into the spirit, you know, here down here. It and I, you've always been down here. So for you, you don't even really... That's why I think I go by the calendar. Right. I think because I can't go based on weather. Right. So I just always went go by the calendar. And everyone seems to do that, and that's fine. Like, I'm totally cool with that. I yeah. love pumpkins. Kind of so. weird. I do, too. I love the decorations. Speaking Not the of food. pumpkins. Not the food. Speaking of pumpkins, yeah. Pumpkin Not flavor it. season is upon us. Lord and our friend Janelle, she loves she her is. some pumpkin. She She's flooded the Facebook feed with pumpkin <laughs> recipes. <laughs> But a lot of people just adore the pumpkin flavor thing, and I, I like it. I don't necessarily search I, it out. I, no, not no. so much. I like it. That's... Um, I would... Yeah. No. I do, too. I mean, I'll eat it. I'll eat a lot of things if you put it in front of me, quite frankly, but um, I don't search it out, so... And I actually like sweet potato better than pumpkin. Whoa, sweet potato. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to make you the sweet potato casserole my mom makes. It's so sugary. Oh, it is so good. <laughs> <laughs> then you know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think I've ever seen as much pumpkin stuff on my Facebook feed as I have this year. Right, I think so too. Well, I think the hype is out there and everything, and people just say really gear up for it. It's its own season. Like, pumpkin season is its own season. Yeah. So I mean, they even have pumpkin creamer. I'm like, no, hell no, you should never I've mix had it. It's, it's really not bad. Ugh, mm -mm. It's really probably not no. good. But. It's not terribly sweet, so I think you would not like it. No. The salted caramel mocha, that oh, is yes. my jam. Yeah. And Jenny, it's my like sister like when you go to Starbucks, that is what I would order. They've got it out now. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I saw it See, I'm not day. always like the pumpkin latte, and I'm like, meh, but the, Salted yeah. caramel mocha, mm -hmm. that's where it's at. Well, um, I think it's International Delight. They they were selling the little tiny one, yeah. and I could go through that thing in like four days. Right. But now Jenny, my sister in law, she found the the big one Shut up. at like Walmart or right. somewhere. I don't even know. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it all and freeze it. Right. I don't know if you can freeze it, but I'm gonna try because mm -hmm. that is 
It's so chocolatey and so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, that fine. one cup of coffee is, that's my thing. Right. That's all I do. I only drink my one cup. cup. I'm like a pot and a half. Jeez, um, when I was at stupid Keurig that my husband bought. <laughs> my husband, ladies, don't ever take your husband to Walmart because this is what happens. He decides he wants a Keurig. And everything that goes with it, and like 20 different varieties of coffee. Right. And then you walk out having to, you know, pawn your small child because. To pay for it. To pay for the right. coffee pot. Costco usually has some really good cups. Yeah. Fairly cheap. So. Yeah, we just renewed our Sam's. Amazon too. Oh, Sam's, yeah. Yeah. It's just. Oh, you know, when you go there, you don't easily, you don't walk out with 50 no. or 60 You're bucks. Never, never. You walk out with like. Five hundred or six hundred dollars. Right. No, people. I'll run into Costco with um, like eggs and milk on my list and come out with a full cart and yeah. two hundred dollars cheaper or poorer. So, <laughs> um, let's see what else about fall pumpkin. We don't have to shave as often, so there's a plus. See, I shave no matter what. You're weird. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm just like it's just like habit. Just right. Do it. So no. Mm. I mean, I'm not saying like I'm not like a yeti. She's Harry Mary. Y'all don't be fooled. I see over here. She, what she's I, got. There were times this summer at the pool that I could see her looking at my legs like Jesus, make an effort. <laughs> <That's> not... <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at you. It wasn't because of that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh gosh, I, I did we talk about this before? Yeah, we did talk about this before at the pool that one time about I I can't even go to bed. Like, if my legs haven't been shaved. It freaks me out. Really? The sensation of, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Oi. No. Mm-mm. I got a lot more but acreage than you have, though. See, I'm OCD and I about a, being clean. I have a lot more acreage than you do. So, like, oh. you're like, I'm going to shave my legs, and it takes you two minutes. I say I'm going to shave my legs. I have to take a snack in. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about legs, people. Legs. Oh, are we? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we technically almost crossed the line to R-rated a couple weeks ago right. when we had our little episode glitch. So right. We would have been okay today if we would have went farther. I, would, I wasn't going to cut that out either. If I could have saved that, I would. Oh. Why not? Just why not? Just, just, just a little. We recorded a couple weeks ago for that last episode that we did, um, and <laughs> Copper dropped the F bomb, mm, and she, we looked at each other like, oh shit, did we really just do that? <laughs> like, I did it. And then I believe what you said after I did it, and we looked at each other, I said, I think I just popped that cherry. Yes, so. you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <sighs> so, but, but someone had decided that that was not the best option for no, us, and horrible. they did not record our episode, so we had to redo the I, episode. I, I was not happy with the sound quality of that one. I, I might have messed so up. The so the podcast gods decided <laughs> yeah. that that was not happening. Yeah. yeah so. wasn't time to pop our cherry yet. No. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, High quality show here. <laughs> so what else do you um, tend to um, associate with fall? Uh, did it get like really dark in here? It did. Is it? Uh, it might. Maybe oh. it's gonna rain. I like it dark. You know me. I'm Can like I a, turn a light I'm on? like a vampire. I'll turn it on. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? What else about fall? I don't know. S'mores. But we did s'mores all year round. We did s'mores. We did uh, last last weekend. We yes, had like you our, did. We had our little last weekend of summer. Little or last week of summer, you know, thingy. So. And you never do it for mommy's cup challenge. Yeah. On, on oh, Instagram. I had to post for last night too or yesterday. So. Um, yeah, no, we had s'mores last weekend, and we went swimming for the last time, and um, all that stuff. But I like, we might go camping this fall. Well, I know we will because Jackie joined Cub Scout. Too bad you couldn't see my face on that one. <laughs> Have you ever seen the little thing that floats around and it says, "My friend asked me to go camping. First thing on my list, find new friend." Right. That would be me. Camping can be fun. No, it's never fun. It's fun. Never, never. Never. It's a good time. I've been camping like twice in my life, and I hated it both times. <laughs> no, I, need I do enjoy it. I really do. Like we used to do that. Like all. The, oh, I always have electricity. Yeah. I don't do if I can't you flush do a tent. I do do tent. You can have electricity in a tent. You can't flush a toilet in a tent. No, what I was going to say is I don't do. If I can't flush a toilet, I'm not interested in going. So if you're not near a, ba- a bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. 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 And that's where we went because Aubrey was small. Aubrey was like three, I guess. But I still, no, I just don't do it. Right. No. It, nothing about it interests me at all. No. No. <laughs> She's like, absolutely not. I'm not going camping. You would not survive in a zombie apocalypse. No. 
I, I'd hide. I could find somewhere to hide. You have to eventually camp. In I someone's could, house. Right, I guess you could break into home. Break that damn they door down. Yeah, they Pop don't that bitch anymore. out and yeah. sleep in there. Like that show. Remember that show that came Maybe on? Maybe they'll be better at grocery shopping than I am, so at least you'll be able to find food. <laughs> Do you remember there was a show that came on last year or the year before last, and it was like the guy was the last person on earth? I think that was the last movie. man standing. It's still on. Um, it's still on. I never watched it. Though. It was a guy, and and they went like squatting all. He squatted yeah. in these houses, and the girl like people eventually. It was a bizarre show, but that's what it makes me think of. Like he his toilets that obviously there's no water. Right. So he started using the the pool as the toilet. He cut a hole in the end of the diving board. <laughs> And just sat there. It was, it was so oh, gross. Oh, that is gross. It is gross. And she's like, so what are you going to do when it's full? He's like, move. <laughs> Looked perfect. It's true. Size. Right. I so, mean, yeah. what are you going to do? It's not that, like you have to get that's out That's what mortgage. I think camping is. Right. Grossness. Yeah. <sighs> so, I don't even know what to say to that. Um, you really get into football, right? I Hell no, I don't. My husband does. Um, I let me let me backtrack on that. Like this weekend, we didn't really talk that much <laughs> last week, mostly because I was napping and she was, you know, checking off her to do list of other stuff that did not involve me because she's because right. I had the life. No, I'm oddly, kidding. oddly enough, like I'm not her everything, which was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> but um, so I know to that she's like, I have lunch with a friend tomorrow, and a little bit of me was like, what? What friend? Who? Girl, you made quiche for somebody the other day. You have never made quiche for me. We're totally cheating on each Damn other. It. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm like, I have to be reminded. Of I'm like, oh, yeah, we have a life outside of each other. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so last weekend, I text you. I'm like, we need to, we really, like, let's do this. I don't want to get too far out from recording. And so you're like, I'm at the grocery store. And then she lists, like, 20 million things that she's making and I'm like what the hell did someone die uh, and you did you literally <laughs> said that you said did, did someone die well let's see what did I make well, uh, gumbo okay l j just a small disclaimer my husband calls on Thursday now keep in mind the first football games on Saturday he calls me Thursday at like 2 30 in the afternoon and he says can you make gumbo this weekend or can you make etouffee this weekend now, I don't know if any of you have ever made it. I don't know what the difference is. It's hours. It's hours. You have to stir a roux that takes an hour of stirring just the roux. Then you have to simmer, redo, simmer. It's it's hour long. Hours long. And I said, are you kidding me? And I said, call your mom. Get your mom to do it. <laughs> so he did. He called her. And she pretty much had the same sentiment I did. But right. she said, okay. So then he, he texts me back. And he's like, well, can you make gumbo? I'm like, we are not having gumbo and etouffee in one meal. That's right. just too much. So long story short, I go and I make gumbo. Homemade gumbo. Homemade gumbo, which literally took hours, right. like four hours. Um, for lunch, we had deviled eggs. We had spinach dip. We had, what else did I tell you about? The tapenade. Oh, the olive tapenade. Yeah. Um, tapenade, sorry. And then, I don't know, I don't know. I read, that's how I learned to pronounce words, right? Um, and then my mother-in-law made the etouffee for dinner that afternoon. Or, and then we also had pumpkin pie and I think an apple pie. Oh my God! I I literally never wanted to see food again. Yeah, you looked, as long. I, I was by the time we met down at the pool, you looked really I was uncomfortable. Miserable. Right, I was, and I love that kind of food. But looking back, like I told Lloyd, it's too much. You can't eat gumbo and a right. in one day. And the good news is he's since eaten it every day after, right. so we didn't have a lot of leftovers. But yeah, but that was for. Football kickoff. He right. said, "You got to have because we're LSU and Saints, so you got to have the Cajun food." But other than that, you know, football is big in my house for my husband. Right. But I have to say, um, since we live here in Texas, I don't know if you saw my little picture of Landon when we went the other day to Walmart for the Keurig. The first thing he did was make a beeline to for the Saints shirt. shirts. Yeah, I mean, the shirt. Texan, Texan shirts. Shirt. And I and I kind of stood back because you have to realize my husband balked at Landon ever liking J.J. Watt. Right. When he brought that poster home two years ago and he wanted to put it on his wall, my husband had a fit. Like, he's like, you can't do that. That's not Saints. That's not LSU. So to see him go, I literally brought tears to my eyes. Right. I was like, that's that's a sign of, a, of maturity right. and a great daddy if you're going to go and buy that for him. And you should have seen Landon's face. Like, he was so happy I, with that shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Like, it was really... I'll tell you what, um, how I feel about college football. 
Same way I do about camping. Uh, oh, I yeah, agree. Yeah, I just, I, I don't get it. And that's fine. I mean, I'm not shy of shooting it down or whatever, but. I hate football, um, too. And we're not even really, like, we are Packers fans. And Matt used to watch a lot more, but nowadays he's. He's home so little that when he is home and it's a Sunday, the last thing he wants to do is check out mm-hmm. and sit in front of the TV. So it's right. very rare. There are certain games that he does sit and watch or, you know, it might be on in the background, but it's very rare for it to be a big deal. That being said, if when they go to the Super Bowl, he, like, I mean, that will be a big day. We all celebrate that day. We love our Green Bay Packers. Um, it is hard to also not love the Texans. I mean, when you live here, it is like, <laughs> but they're, so, they're really... You're just talking about J.J. Watt. I, you know what? I'll get back to my next husband in a second. <laughs> but um, they're just, they're a really great team, and they do so much for this community, too. Yeah. And the Saints are like that as well. Like, they're just, they're good on the field, and when they're off the field, they work twice as hard, too, for mm-hmm. their community. So it's kind of, it's hard not to root for them as well. Right, so, right. like, it's just as they're very likable off the field too. You rarely hear yeah any issues with them. And when you do hear about it, they're doing something great for their community. Well, and here, as you know, JJ Watt is the face of H E B. Right. He's the face of some kind of there's an electric company that uses him. He's carrying um, like like appliances yeah, out of yeah, the yeah. house. Oh, that, lady, that commercial is <laughs> so mom funny. With like, his, he's on yes. one with his mom. Yeah. Um but here's the thing about JJ. He's adorable. <laughs> he's from Wisconsin. Is he really? Yeah, yeah. I did not know he yes. wasn't from here. So, you know, we automatically love him a little bit for that, too. I think we've adopted him here yeah, as a Texas we boy. have. But if, I, I don't know, know if you follow him on Facebook. He's just absolutely, like, he's always spending time with his grandma. Yeah. And it is the cutest thing ever. Cause she's, she's like Teeny three, tiny? She's like three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just, I don't know, and he's so adorable. Yeah, so when you were talking about football and you're like, we should talk about that. I'm like, I don't really, I mean, we can. I said, but unless, you know, me fantasizing about him while I shop at H-E-B is <laughs> anything. Because <laughs> you cannot turn a corner at H-E-B without coming across some gigantic cut out of him. And right now he's like chewing on the football. And I'm like, that's that's a little weird. but That just shows you how little I pay attention yeah. in the grocery store. You need to look up. Holy cow. Yeah, see, when you're short like I am. Yeah. Like, like, I wasn't going to say it, but like, you I'm really like, like bargain you really aisle lev- yeah. eye level. Right. Like, like you know. Because you know how they, they layer the products on the shelves? Right. Like, for whatever. Like, the more expensive items that they oh, layer, yeah, yeah. like, Because they're supposed to be at eye level. Well, for, see, I'm you know, short, right. so they're missing like, out like, like me. Hobbit, so. I'm, like, down here with the cheap shit, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm You're buying. cheap anyway. You'd still be bending over and getting <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> I am. And then you text me with, like, I just saved a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> We need to do a, a frugal, a frugal episode. I could, I could learn a few things from you for sure. Oh my so. gosh! Have you ever seen the, Have you ever seen the middle? They always shop yes. at the frugal Hoosier. Yeah. <laughs> does that place even exist? I don't, know. I don't think it does, but it's just hilarious. Like when I think of weekly. frugal, yeah. Oh, I love the pig, Hoggly Wogly. I've never been. Well, I'm from the, I'm from the country, so we had Piggly Wigglies. Right. Piggly Wiggly. Like who? Why? Really? Why would you even Piggly Wiggly? I think I want to name my grocery store Piggly Wiggly. Now it sounds stupid when it comes out of my mouth. Sounds like I want to cook it like bacon. Piggly wiggly. I don't like my bacon wiggly though, so. They usually call it just the pig. The pig. The pig. Yeah. Makes sense. (laughs) 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 Ah. All right. Well, um, have you guys thought um, the kids English once again um, talked about uh, Halloween costumes yet? You know, every once in a while, the kids, some kid yelled at Landon the other day and said, was it your kid? And said, what are you going to be for Halloween? Or was it April's? That's One of them was. said, what are you going to be for Halloween? It was. And um, that that got him telling me on the way to the van that night we went swimming what right. I wanted to be. What he said, I have no idea. Not really. And I am, again, I'm, I'm frugal, but I'm also smart. I try not to buy them brand new costumes every year. Right. Just because it is super expensive. Yeah. I mean, costumes are no joke. Those costumes can run like $35 a piece. And easily oh, I you've never, spent. I have never spent that much on a costume. So a lot of years I make them dig through their costume right. box. Because the girls have been pretty lucky with lots of dress-up dresses. You know, that I get at the thrift store. My mom sends them. Right. And 
technically Paige never really wants to be anything other than a cat. Right. So it's simple. <laughs> That's so easy. Black head to toe, right. I'll paint your face, and you've got some ears, you're done. So, She's such a cat. <laughs> I don't know. She went to school a whole week, that whole first week, yeah. with cat ears. Of course. And I said, did anybody say anything about your cat ears? Emma sewed them last I year. I think I vaguely remember. It's the cutest yeah. little headband, but Emma sewed those cat ears one year for her to wear to school. It's the cutest little Oh, thing. I just switched to water. That's so gross. <laughs> um, but no, not yet. I don't, we never, there was one year, I was so proud of myself. We went to Once Upon a Child, like right, like they announced that they're, they had their costumes out and like that morning it was Saturday and we got up and we ran over there and this was in Florida and I got all three kids for 20 bucks. Oh wow. That's, Wham, that's bam, my kind thank of, you yeah. ma'am. And the boys wanted to be firefighters so they got their little firefighter costumes. Maggie ended up finding this Batgirl costume mm-hmm. and it worked out really well. Last year um, I got the boys costume but I got them at Target one week when they were doing a buy one get one free. Okay yes. So, I and I, I, I bought them too. the $20 costume. Mm-hmm. So, for $20, I got both boys. And then Maggie was um, Doctor Who last year. So, I got almost, I had to order her bow tie, but everything else came from Goodwill for mm-hmm. her. So, mm-hmm. and this year she wants to be the actual TARDIS. So, I have to, I'm going to have to make that one. Yeah, okay. that's going to be a, that's going to be a mommy creation. So, we'll see how that goes. So, but the boys it. haven't really. Sometimes they want to do like a Doctor Who theme with them or with her, and then other times they don't. Henry occasionally spouts off with, I want to be Spider-Man. I'm like, great, because you were Spider-Man last year. We have that. Let's do it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. right. You want to do the same thing you were right. the last By two means, years in a row? Don't let sister it. bully you, you yeah. know. Yeah. Absolutely. And you want to know the truth. It's usually so dark. No one sees these costumes anyway. Right. I'm just being honest. Because when we walk around the neighborhood... It's so dark, you can't even see what these kids are dressed up like. Right. You know? So the reality is, unless you go out super early, like we tend to in the beginning when it's still daylight, we start out. Um, You don't know. What street are you walking down that it's pitch black? All the the ones in the back. Like in the ghetto? What are you doing? Girl, we usually go the entire neighborhood. We, last year was Drizzly, but they hung out pretty long. Yeah. And then that one, that one cul-de-sac does that, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, man, we were there forever. And that's new. They've only started doing that, like, the last year oh, or yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Which is really cool. The kids, yeah, the kids enjoy really it. they really go all out on that bad boy. Mm-hmm. So it's like our own personal little haunted house. So. Yep. It's pretty cool. But, yeah. You know, I, 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 I always like to look on Pinterest because, um, it's like you said, with the TARDIS or whatever. Right. Um, some, yeah, and typically really, someone's right. done it before. Well, and I, I have to, I think she what she needs to do is decide if she wants to do it like in dress form and or have me the like box. design the dress to look like a TARDIS or a be box. So box. I'll, I'll do either. I, I'm i secretly hoping for the box because that's going to be a lot easier, but I'm not going to have to sew that way. But right. if, if, you know, if we have to, then we will. So yeah. And that, and I tend to take like the best. I'll have to make sure when I'm done to post a, we'll post a picture in the thingy. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yeah, because I don't know about you, but I'll take like I'll take bits and pieces from other people's ideas, yeah. whatever I, right. whatever works for me or whatever's the easiest, and then I'll kind of put them all together. So, um, Well, that's when she wanted to be Matt Smith last year. I spent a lot of time on Pinterest, like, okay, how am I, because cosplay is really big, so Who I got... You, who's Matt Smith? It's one of the Doctor Who's. Okay. See, girl, I have not watched Doctor Who since, like, I was nine years old. And, you know, that was <laughs> and old, those were the school old Doctor, Doctor Who. Doctor Who's, yeah. with, like, the question marks were all floating yep. in space or whatever mm-hmm. at the beginning of yep. the show. Yeah, that was the Doctor Who I used to watch. Yeah. I used to love it. I'd come here to Texas. I think I told you that. And watch it at my grand lady's yes. house or my Aunt Dana's house because we didn't have those channels back in Florida. Right. And so, yeah, that's really funny. Well, that's what she was last year. I'll have to dig out a picture. It was really cute. She did a great job. So. I don't know if I saw you guys last year. Did I see you? I don't think so. It's mm-hmm. it's it's amazing. You would think you would see because our subdivision is right. not that big, but you don't. There's See. a lot of nook and crannies, though. For being a yeah. small neighborhood, there's a lot of nook well, and crannies. Well, we all go. We right. all scatter and go in different directions. Right. And my kids notoriously are notorious for asking, can we meet up with whoever? Can I'm we a, walk I'm, a, I'm whoever? like, no. Well, like, if we see them and you want to walk a couple houses together, that's fine. But, like, we, you want to go your direction, I want to go mine. I don't want to have to worry about. And you know what's funny? We always end up as a gang with people that we meet up right. with. And then we're all straggling along watching for other people's kids. It's kind of good, though, because I have three kids. Right. And, like, I can't remember who ended up with last year. Um, 
I think it was Jessica, but she watched my kids if they'd run off in front of her, and then I'd, her kids would be behind me, you know, whatever. But it's it's hard. Right. Um, I'd be just fine doing those trunk or treats where you take them to, like, yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah, it's not the, my favorite the, holiday, but they like it. So. I love it. It is my favorite holiday. It, it's becoming not as my, much my favorite just because, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. The, the thrill is kind of gone. Right. Um, they look so I love cute the dressed up. I love the Halloween. decorations. They look love really it. cute. But the actual act of doing it. Trick just, or treating. Like, I think it's just a trick yeah. to exercise, you yeah. know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I Although I do know. love going to the neighbors that, you know, they have, they're sitting out and they have a cooler of beer for adults. So, um, yeah, that's always good. I like those people. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Or shots. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> hey, that's right. So let's, um, let's talk about, uh, that's enough fall talk. Ugh. It'll Pinterest. Be, it'll be winter before we know it. We'll still be talking about <laughs> We rambled on. I'm over coffee, so let's That's wrap okay. this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about Pinterest for a little bit, because yeah. um, I, you are like a Pinterest crazy fanatic. I prefer Pinterest queen, but whatevs. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that. <laughs> I, you know, um, what do you use it for? What do I use? I actually I have tons of boards. I'm trying to think. My number one thing that I use it for: uh, recipes, cooking. Right. Um, my number two thing that I use it for is uh, decorating ideas. I, you know how a lot of people Do have, you pin them or do you just, do you use them or do you just pin them? I do. Here's the thing. Um, I, let me just start off with the recipes. I do. Um, I will say there have been a lot of recipes that I have tried that I was less yes. than impressed with. So I always have to remember to go and delete that yeah. one and get it off my board. Um, because as we know, just because it looks good and a million people have pinned it does not make right. it good. No, I, and we're going to talk about that a little bit yes. too. So yeah. So I do do that. And then with my decorating boards, um, I have them broken down by room and I do like I'll put paint and I have a board for paint colors. A lot of the paint colors that Me I too. like, yeah. um, I do it for the dye free that we do the foods that, that I find. Um, I do it for, what else do I do it for? I do it for the books that I like to right. read. Um, I just have lots of pins, um, lots of boards. Mine's very sporadic, too. Like, I mean, there's just, not sporadic, but there's eclectic. Hair, like, I have yeah. hair, I have clothes, things that I'd like, outfits. I, I find that during the fall, not so much during the summer, because I just don't care during right. the summer. But during the fall, it's nice to go back and look at the outfits that they put together and then somewhat do them myself. Right. Um, but... Uh, as in life, li just like in my life as there is on Pinterest, there's a fail. There's always a right. fail. Like, I don't succeed in accomplishing, you know, what... It's never going to be as pretty as what they make it out to be. <laughs> uh, that's just my life in a right. nutshell. Exactly. So, right. I, I don't know. I, um, I love it. I do. Have you ever had any epic fails? Lots of the recipes. Right. I have to say, I've been very disappointed many times with Me recipes. Too. Me too. Just... Wow, and there's nothing worse than cooking a meal. You're all excited, you make it, and it tastes like shit. Right. You're like, what did I do? And my husband, God love him, he'll say everything tastes good no matter what. Right. I've only once ever had him say it wasn't good. Was it vegetable lasagna? Because that's the one time in my life that Matt's ever said, he's like, this is god awful, let's get a pizza. It's the <laughs> only time he's ever, and I once liquefied a meatloaf. He still ate it. <laughs> But I made a vegetable lasagna. Oh, meatloaf soup. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I, I don't recall what it was that I yeah. made so bad. I don't know. I deleted that bitch quick. Right, I was like, right. get, get off my board. I've had a couple. And that's the thing. It's like, it's really tough with Pinterest because you'll pin them and I'm, and then you'll go to do them and you're just like, I, I really thought for as much as I saw this, that it would be more amazing than what it is. Are you like me? I'm notorious for once I get on to look for, to do my meal plan, which right. I need to do today. I'll start looking at other new things that people are pinning, new recipes. Right. Instead of looking through the ones that I've already, already pinned. Already have, right. And I have a lot of food recipes. I a do too. lot of like I do too. like baking recipes. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, I do a lot of drunk pinning. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Yes, That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Like, you know, at night time mm -hmm. when you're by yourself and the kids are asleep and you've had I'm not gonna say how many drinks. <laughs> but I mean, I'll sit there and I'll pen, pen, and, and it's very apparent sometimes. I'll be like, just the comments I'll make and stuff. 
Oh, you comment. Yeah, That's funny. Yes. See, I'm not a commenter yeah. on, on So are the, a couple of the names of my boards are like clearly I was drunk. Like I think I have the <laughs> holy shit I can sew board. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have seen it. <laughs> yeah. And you know that's the struggle. I want to have a, a witty name right. for my boards. But inevitably, I am too organized. So I want them alphabetical. Right. So I want when I think. So I'll have food and then in parentheses dessert. Right. Food, parentheses, uh, sides. You know, I want so that as I scroll down alphabetically, not so much the witty words because I never remember them. But you do, you do really well with the titles. Yeah, well, and a lot of that's the booze, not me. (laughs) But perhaps I I should start drinking if I I want to write food, and then I have um, a lot of do-it-yourself for stuff, which we'll talk about that in a second. Um, Organization skills, Mm -hmm. cleaning, yes, um, which a lot of those end up being flops too. Um, I have, I have a, a, um, (laughs) do you know Sherlock? The show? Yeah. Yes, you do. You do. I I, do. You do. My bad just gives me the heaves. Oh my God. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I just you don't need you know, Everybody needs glasses that thinks he's attractive. No. Sorry, it's Benedict not, Cumberbatch. No, I'm a Cumberbitch. Yeah. I'm a Cumberbitch. Ew. He's adorable. Ew. He's adorable. No, no, no. Have you ever seen him act? No, yeah, I don't need to. I, he might be a great actor, but he'd never win me with his looks. No, I love well, him to death. I love everything sorry, about Benny. him. Sorry, <laughs> Benny. Mm, that's fine. I have a wreath board. I have a wreath board because I love to make wreaths. I had some. I have some door in my front craft door stuff, door. but yeah. Yeah. I have it broken down like that. Like, that's how many wreaths <laughs> I have started pinning. So now I have it so bored. <laughs> um, I love making a good wreath. Trying to think what else I we have. We need to go to yeah. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, we we'll do. make a trip. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I and Like I said, like, a lot of times, like, with some of them, I go to do it thinking this has got to be amazing. I've seen it over and over again. And then I make it and I'm like did I screw up yeah. or and then a lot of times I, I I remember there was and I can't remember what the recipe was but it's like this super easy crock pot recipe blah 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 I did it and then I mentioned on Facebook I'm like this sucked and <laughs> everybody came out of the woodwork and they were like oh yeah it was awful and then I'm like then why are y'all pinning it I know delete that bitch off your board you owe me twelve dollars and seventy six cents <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, it's really funny because I, a lot of the same pins keep popping up yeah. and floating around. Right. And I don't know if you've noticed, but when you go on, if you if you search, just for example, five bean chili, right, they'll come up in the order of popularity. Right. And so the one in the top left-hand corner is the one that's been pinned like 12 million times or whatever. And inevitably... But that's of, the tricky thing about Pinterest, though, is just because it's been pinned does doesn't mean, mean it's, it's been good. done. And that's right. right. And that's what I've learned the hard way. It's just like with a bestseller book. Right. Just because it's a bestseller and, you know, 20 million people have read it does not mean I'm going to like it. Does right. not mean it's going to be a good book. Right. So I agree with you. Uh, I, I'm glad to know because I always think, did I, like you say, did, did, I, did I do this right. wrong? How did I mess this up? So, um, yeah, I love Pinterest, though. I, I do. I, I love Pinterest. So I have a new idea for a Pinterest board, then, mm-hmm. is... Um, to do a tried and true by Heather and Copper. So when we have something that we mm. really truly love, yeah, um, and maybe we can even do like like make the effort to when we find one that's either really popular yeah. or someone shows some interest in it, we will do it and then post our opinion of it. So yeah, on our yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we'll just start a new board on our Pinterest. Right, right. I think I had, like, we should, like, tried and true pens by Heather and Copper. We can come up with something else. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. me have a few drinks and I'll come up with a name. <laughs> <laughs> you create it and I'll pin to right. it. Because ultimately, like, I always I always think about myself. I'm, I'm like, I do a lot of, like, do-it-yourself pens, you know, so I'm like, am I truly a do-it-yourselfer or am I a do-it-yourselfer dreamer? Where I, like, I think I might want to be that kind of person, but am I really? So... You know, and I'm going to be honest, the older I get, the less initiative I have. Right. I have illusions of grandeur with, like, the house and redoing it. But we've kind of gotten to the point where our house is pretty much done. There's right. not much else to do. Unless we moved and bought an older house. Right. A lot of those pins are never going to come to fruition. And it's it's bittersweet. Like, I'm okay with that. Right. But I would like to do that. Like, I repainted Aubrey's room, and it took me two days because I had to prime it and paint it. And at the end of the two days, I was like, Jesus, I I don't know that tackling a redo of a house is really something I want to spend my energy on. Right. It just, it takes so much. 
I really out of could you. though. Like I really could though. Like I could I if I had a lot of time, right. but I'm kind of impatient and I want it done. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not one of those people who could chip away at it over months. You know, like if we moved into a house and the and the cabinets and the whole kitchen and you know one day you did this and that took you months. Right. I, it would just drive me batty. You know, I'd want. You are a little done. instant gratification. Girl. I am. Yeah. I am. I am. So, I mean, as much as I would love to paint the cabinets in the house we're in, it's never going to happen just because it's such a time-consuming right. job. It's not going to happen. No, I can see that because, I mean, there's been times where, like, we've been talking, like, you need to be patient, my friend, because you're like, now, now, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, we've kind of yeah. hit that point at the yeah. house, so I'm, I'm good. Your house but. is great, though, so... That's all right. You know, I look around at the pins, and that's, I find pin envy. Right. I don't know yes. if you're guilty yeah. of pin envy, but I find that I look at these houses and these living rooms, and they've got these nice, plain walls, which brings me to my new blog post I'm doing this weekend. It's all it's all thanks to you commenting on my bedroom upstairs. All I said was you need a splash of color. I didn't say <laughs> vomit rainbow all over the place. I, 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 have, I have to say, years past, color was my friend. But I've gotten to the point where I'm like boho kind of. The colors I really like are, I really white. like the white and the beige walls again. Right. Um, and then the color coming out. You know, I like the camel and the black and the, you know, the gold and the, the real just simple, the boho. I right. like that, that. I like that. And I was just thinking, like, maybe a navy blue pillow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I did pin something like that, where she had the navy blue macrame hanging on the right, wall. Yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I get the pin envy. I see these rooms, and I look around at my house, and I think, my house will never look like that yeah. unless I did this, 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 and this. And then you do. You get, it's, it's kind of, it's just the way Facebook is. Right. You look around, and you compare yourself without knowing you're doing it. We all do it. And we see what everyone else's reality looks like. Right. And I like those people who will show you, this is what my house really looks like. This is what you see. This is what it really actually looks like. Right. Don't think I'm perfect. And that's, I don't know about you, but when I write and when I post, I I try to be very transparent. I don't want you ever to think that my life is amazing and perfect and that it's not. It's just not. And I don't want you to think that because... I connect better with real. So I do. My life is perfect, and my kids are perfect, <laughs> and my house is perfect, and everything is perfect. And I wear a size four. And lightning's about to strike us both. <laughs> Damn, I need to move. Because for her to say she's perfect, <laughs> Lord help. But yeah, I mean, we, it's, so I right. get pen envy. Please tell me you do too. No, I totally do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I totally do. Because. Yeah, I want my life to look like my Pinterest boards, but let's just be real people. It's not going to. Hell no, it doesn't. Right. It's, it's, yeah, it's just not. I try. I mean, like, my curtains in this room are actually a shower curtain that I sewed, so. You sew? Uh, I try. It's, like, one of my, like, my my life goals is to be better at it, so. I would love to learn how to sew. Right now, well, Stitch, which is my t- friend. Yeah, I'm not, or I would not be the person to teach you. Yeah. Sew, they sell on TV? Yeah. <laughs> it actually works. That? We used to, and it actually worked until it jammed. But but Emma has a tiny, tiny little sewing machine. Like this big, we paid like $14 for it on Amazon. Right. And it actually freaking sews. Right. But, yeah. I My mother-in-law sew. bought me a, um, a sewing machine a couple of years ago. So I, I try to use it. I'm not great. I could be better, but that comes with practice. So. Yeah. I would love. I. In my next house, I want a room that's all mine. I want right. to set my craft stuff up, my craft stuff up, my sewing machine, and my painting. You should see what's in this. I this want to have room a room right where I can set my painting right. stuff up and yeah. paint. It's sad that you don't paint. I know. That's what I told my husband. I said it's really sad. What's really sad is that I get to look at an LSU room all day long when I'm on the it computer. Does make me vomit a little bit. And I told him, I yeah. said, you know, I have nothing, no space for myself. So I would love to have that. You just want to set it up, shut the door, right, and not have to, because setting it up each time is 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 more than half of the process. Right. Oh yeah. On anything, anything. Well, and I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll be like, I would really like to do blank, 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 and I'm like, by the time I get set up, I'm gonna have to take it down. No. Uh, yeah. Exactly. That's always my always. Right. Like if I have to set it up. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Right. No. So, yeah. Very understandable. So. All right. Well, I think we talked about Pinterest uh, 
to death. I don't know. I mean, not to death. Like, I could talk about Pinterest every day. <laughs> but, yeah, so let's um, – we'll put up that new board, and everyone can take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, and let us know um, uh, what you're trying. If there's a pen you want pens. us to try, and we'll do it. And sometimes Absolutely. it's going to be – and not just food. Right. Like, we'll try other stuff. I can – hot glue the crap out of things. I mean, as soon as I buy a new hot glue gun, so... Oh, my God. You still have that hot I glue have, gun? No, I returned it. I got okay. my seven ninety nine back. Okay. What did I buy with that? Something else stupid. I don't remember. Probably $8 worth of stuff out of the, out of the dollar spot. <laughs> out of the dollar spot, probably. Ah, oh, speaking of, I need to hit it up because they've probably got some super cute uh, They have some stuff. really cute fall stuff in there. Oh, yes. man. Yeah, I love Target's dollar spot. I don't know who your marketing person is, but y'all are brilliant. Yeah, I was just there the other day, and they had a bunch of stuff. It's like the rich people's Dollar Tree. I say say that every time. (laughs) It is. (laughs) That's some some super cute stuff. I think it's like the middle-aged white girl's Dollar Tree. Damn, the yoga pants wearing that you've even not even been to yoga, but you're still wearing them just because. There's nothing wrong with yoga pants. I know. They're soft and comfortable. I know, right? I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I didn't wear them every day. Well, I alternate between the dress that I have on because I don't have to wear a bra. Right. Or the yoga pants and the tank top <laughs> <laughs> that I can wear a sports bra with. Right. I had my friends I had over for, um, what did we do? Oh, no, we went to uh, Cracker Barrel. And, like, I, w- I had button pants, jeans on, and a nice shirt. And I had actually combed my hair that day, which is a miracle within itself. And they were both wearing yoga pants. I'm like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> you didn't have to dress up for this. I know. And you know, it's really bad. I've gotten so bad. Like, I rarely will dress up for anything anymore. Right. I'm like, there's no need. <laughs> I should make more effort. I don't want eh, to. Whatever. I don't want to. I agree. No, absolutely not. All right. Well, we don't know what we're doing next week. Nope. And but we will be back next week. I promise we're going to get back into the, you know, I've taken enough naps and I, how clean can your house get? So <laughs> I gave up on that. <laughs> so we'll be back next week with something. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll be here. Um, just uh, a reminder about our personal blogs. Yep. Miss Heather is at one fed up mommy mm-hmm. and I'm at uh, never drink from mommy's cup. Go check us out. And you know, interesting. Interestingly enough, both of those titles are very <laughs> uh, spot on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty much a one fed up mommy constantly, and yeah. you're always saying, "Don't drink from my cup." Yeah, like yeah. that's just a life lesson for everybody. Yeah. Don't drink from my cup <laughs> for so many different reasons. I mean, the obvious one, but I don't want other people drinking from my cup either. So yeah, me neither. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, it's gross, cuties. Uh, all right, guys. We'll all right. Well, have you. a great weekend. Yeah. yeah. By the time so this comes out. Yep. So, so have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.